Welcome to Blackthorn Prod. My name is Noah Cleese, I'm the founder of Blackthorn Prod, and today in episode 2 of the How to Create a Simple 2D Customization Menu in Unity, we will set up our brand new project, have a look at how to assemble and create a customizable ready character, how to export and import the sprites into Unity, and tweak some settings. Hey everyone, all right, first things first, we must create a brand new Unity project. So first of all, let's give our project um, a name. Uh, of course, you can call it whatever you like. Don't forget to take the 2D mode since we're making a 2D character customization menu and then choose a location for your project. All right, now that we have a brand new Unity project, we're gonna start by creating two folders uh, in our assets. Folder. We're going to create a scenes and a sprites folder. We're then going to go file, save scene has, and save this scene has menu. Alright, now that I set up the base of our project, uh, we're going to have to import the various sprites that make up our character. Before I do that, I wanted to show you how I created these sprites. Now, I use Photoshop to create my sprites, but of course, any 2D application will do just fine. GIMP, for example. Now, when making a 2D customizable character, there are different steps we must go through. Step 1. Dream up the character, sketch him, think of his looks and design. All this is done either on paper or in a single layer in Photoshop. For the purpose of this tutorial series, I created a very simple cartoon character. But of course, you can create anything you want. Step 2. Refine the character, but draw each of his different body parts and props on a different layer. So draw the head on one layer, and the body on another, and the eyes on another, and so on. If you want to leave the player the option to change the colour of a certain body part or prop, make sure that that body part or prop isn't coloured in. Only use tones going from white to black, like I did for the head and body. Step 3. Create another Photoshop file and copy and paste all the different elements making up that character, making sure to separate each one. This file will make up the base for our character. Step 4. Create the variations of the different character elements. So for example, hide the eyes layer of the character and make a new layer and draw a new set of eyes. You can do this as many times as you want for each element. We are then going to create a new Photoshop file and copy and paste all our eyes. Do the same for the mouths, weapons and anything else your character may have. Once again, all these steps can be applied with any other 2D application that has a simple layer system such as GIMP or even Paint. Uh, Alright, now we're going to export these different files. So we're going to go to File export has. Just remember to turn off the background layer so we have a transparent background. So it's going to open up the export has menu and here we're going to make sure the format is at PNG and then we're going to choose a location for our export. Alright, once that's done you can do the exact same thing for uh, all the other files such as the weapons, the eyes and the mouths. Alright, jumping back inside of Unity, we're going to double click on the sprites folder and then I'm going to right click and go import new assets to import my different sprites. Alright, once that's been done, I'm going to left click on one of these sprite sheets, uh, for example, the base sprites, and I'm going to change a few settings in the inspector. So first things first, I'm going to change the sprite mode from single to multiple. Uh, I'm then going to change the pixel per unit to 150 to make the sprites a little smaller. Um, and then I'm going to hit apply. One last thing to do is go into the sprite editor right here and I'm going to separate various pieces of my sprite sheet by simply left clicking and dragging. 
All right, and then don't forget to hit apply. And now you'll see if you hit this arrow key that our sprite sheet has been separated into these different elements. Of course, you can now repeat the process uh, with the exact same um, settings for the weapons sprite sheet, mouth sprite sheet, and eyes sprite sheet. All right, only one more thing left to do before ending up with this video, we're going to go up here uh, under this Create tab and click on Create Empty. So basically we're creating a simple empty game object that I'm going to rename to Character. I'm going to reset the position of this empty game object and I'm now going to click on this little arrow of our base sprite sheet and I'm going to drag and drop the different parts that make up our character. As you can see, our character looks a complete mess. Uh, I'm just going to move the camera out of the way and I'm going to arrange these different sprites so it looks more like our character. You can also uh, tweak the order in layer of the various sprites. Remember that the sprites with a higher number in the order in layer will be in front of sprites with a lower number. Alright, there we go, we have our character all set up inside of Unity. Only one more thing to do is to rename these different sprites to keep things nice and clean and in the long run it'll be uh, a lot less confusing. Alright, that's the end of episode 2 in the how to create a simple 2D customization menu from scratch using Unity. Uh, I hope you're following along really well. Of course, if you have any questions or any problems, uh, just state them in the comment section down below and I'll answer the fastest possible. So in episode three, we're going to start setting up some UI and we're going to create our very first script, the changing color script. Until then, you can make my day by hitting the like button and subscribing. And of course, if you have a friend that's interested in game creation, definitely point them towards this channel. All right, cheers guys.